Now, I love boats. Boats are honestly the coolest things ever because if you want me to be honest, I was watching The Wolf of Wall Street the other day and seeing his yacht, like who wouldn't want to do a girl on a yacht? And I remember back when I was in high school, I actually made it my life goal to do a girl on a yacht and I actually ended up doing it just with the wrong person. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to another insane story. So today's story takes place back when I was actually in grade 12. Now, in grade 12, I was graduating that year and I remember... Remember, I decided to make it the most craziest year of my life because well, let's put it this way I kind of want to end it off with a bang and yes I do mean devil's tango, but you know what I mean? Like I want to get it more intense So I remember one day I was walking around my school hanging out with some friends And there was this new girl that entered our school that was from Dubai now this girl from Dubai I'm not gonna lie to you. She had a really nice body, but her face was not the best and I'm not gonna lie I didn't find her attractive at all, but and I remember one time basically adding this girl on Instagram and I ended up seeing one of her Instagram stories where basically she was on a yacht. And when I saw that yacht, holy cow. At that point, I was ready to be a gold digger. I know, crazy, right? Me, a gold digger. Now, usually that usually never happens because most girls nowadays, unless they got an OnlyFans, they're not really making much. No offense to any rich girls out there. I'm still single. But going on, after I saw the yacht on her story, I decided that there's a lot of things that a plastic bag and closing your eyes could do so i remember the next day i ended up walking to my school and basically i ended up walking around the school and i saw the girl that was well owning a yacht and i thought i'd walk up to her and say hey like how's it going she ended up looking at me kind of confused because i'd never talked to this girl but i ended up basically saying what's going on and she ended up saying oh nothing just been tanning a lot my skin's like really like burning up i feel i don't really know i gotta apply more sunscreen on my back and when she was talking about tanning i was just picturing in my mind me tanning on a boat like oh i love boats man i really want to own a yacht yo if there's any rich people out there that have an extra yacht yo send it my way but going on i remember i ended up telling her oh i mean like why don't you just get someone to apply it on your back for you she ended up looking at me laughing saying <laughs> yeah i don't know it's kind of awkward if i ask my parents to put lotion on me and then that's when i ended up saying well i mean i could and then that's where it clicked me and her we started talking from there about basically how i love boats and how she likes boats and one thing led to another i ended up getting her number and let's just say i had a date with her on that yacht the literal week after I remember throughout the school week I was basically telling all the boys about how I had a date with her on the yacht and none of the boys believed me funny enough because they thought it was absolutely crazy how I magically just decided to walk up to this girl and ask her to go on her boat but little do they know that women that are really insecure are usually the easiest to pull so anyways going on I remember I told them that but they didn't believe me so I thought I should just prove it when I'm on the yacht and I remember the week later well I ended up getting in my car I drove to her place we ended up going with her her car all the way to well the place with the yacht i remember that when i first saw the yacht my mouth was watering it was the most beautiful thing i've ever seen and i remember i ended up talking to this girl saying yo this is really nice and she ended up saying yeah like my daddy needed a tax write-off so like we ended up just getting a yacht for the business what does your dad do is what i asked her and she ended up saying oh i don't know he owns like a business in dubai i i don't know i i can't really describe it but it makes money so i'm not complaining is what i said and i remember we ended up basically going onto the boat and just hanging out but as we were on the boat like i'm not gonna lie to you as we were walking around it i saw there were like workers on the boat people walking around there was a master bedroom and like this boat was really nice going on from there i remember this girl ended up walking to like the captain's quarters or basically wherever the captain ends up driving the boat and asked the captain to basically take us for a lap around like you know the lake the sea i don't really know i i wasn't really sure where we were but it's a nice place all right so anyways the captain starts driving the boat you know going around and stuff and me i remember it was a really hot day out so me and her we ended up going to the top deck and tanning as we were tanning she ended up pulling out the lotion that she wanted on her back and she's like okay well you're gonna put this on me now so i remember i basically told her to lay on her back and she ended up taking off her top in front of me and i saw some cherries and from there i remember i got bricked up like no joke i was seriously bricked and i was putting lotion on her back i remember as i was putting lotion on her back though it was really obvious that i was bricked like seriously bricked and i was kind of embarrassed because a person that was also on the boat that day was her mom her mom was on the boat to basically like you know just relax i guess i have no idea but i remember her mom ended up basically seeing me put lotion on her back and she saw me basically with her and she a hundred percent noticed that i was bricked and when she saw that i remember she looked at me and winked at me not even questioned anything that was going on but her mom literally winked at me out of nowhere now i remember i was really awkward it out i didn't know what to say i didn't know what to do so i remember i just played it cool 
But then afterwards, I remember after I finished putting lotion on her back, I ended up saying, yo, do you have a bathroom anywhere? Because I really actually had to go because one, I wanted to make sure this eggplant went back down. I don't know. It's just weird. So I remember she ended up telling me, yeah, there's like a bathroom like about like just keep walking and go to the left. You'll see it. And I ended up basically going to the bathroom. And as I got there, I remember I heard a knock on the door right as I walked in. When I opened it real quick to see who it was, I saw it was actually funny enough, the girl's mom and the girl's mom that I, you know, got invited from the boat from ended up basically coming into the bathroom and she instantly and I mean instantly just grabbed my eggplant. I, I'm not even joking. Like she just grabbed it. I, I don't know why. I guess like consent is not a thing on their boat. I, I don't know. But she grabbed it and she ended up basically started making out with me. Now, I'm going to say this. She had a really hot mom, okay? I won't lie to you. The mom was like the best of both worlds. She had a hot face and also a hot body. So I wasn't complaining. So I remember from there, I remember she ended up grabbing my wrist and taking me out of the bathroom and taking me to the master bedroom. And me and her, well, I guess you guys could guess what happened. Basically, we ended up doing the devil's tango in the master bedroom of the yacht. Like what? Like, bro, my mind was blown and I was super excited. And I won't lie to you guys. It was the best thing ever. Who else would get that kind of like? So I remember from that moment, moment i ended up basically doing it with her and one thing led to another out of nowhere i remember seeing by the window there was one of the workers looking through the window seeing that i was absolutely doing the devil's tango with the mom so from there i kind of started panicking because i didn't want the other girl to know that actually got me onto the yacht and i basically told her we had to stop but it was super funny because this mom i'm not even joking was like really into me for some reason oh like let me help you finish no it's okay i i gotta go and i remember i ended up just running as fast as I could back to the top of the yacht where she was tanning. But when I looked over there and got up there and saw that she wasn't there, I ended up turning around and she ended up being right behind me. And let's just say when I turned around, so did the boat. And also me having to take an Uber all the way back to her place to get my car. That was an expensive Uber ride. I will say that right now. But yeah, um, one thing leads to another. Just don't do girls' moms on the yacht. Do whoever else is on there. Or just do the girl that originally invited you on if it's not your yacht. Anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, just fall for more embarrassing but crazy stories. Peace out, guys.